Hey everyone, Laser Dave here again with TroTech Laser. I want to take you on a deep dive into transforming children's drawings into exquisite engraved and cut products, preserving them for a lifetime as precious, irreplaceable mementos. Transforming children's drawings into preserved memories has become a quick and straightforward process. This deep dive will show the process of engraving and cutting these images in only a few steps using the Ruby software and your TroTech laser system. The drawing must first be digitized by scanning it or taking a straight angled photo of the picture with a good lighting, adjusting the brightness or contrast directly on the phone, and saving the image to an accessible location. Though it is not necessary, I like to take that image through an online software that automatically removes the white background and converts it to a PNG format. Scan this QR code to use the online converter. For the first example, I will use a small alderwood plaque from JDS Industries. Scan this QR code to order the wooden plaque in this example. Place the wooden plaque into the laser system and focus the laser. Open the Ruby software into the main prepare screen. Open the location of the saved photo of the child drawing and drag that photo directly into the Ruby prepare screen. The color image will automatically be converted to grayscale when dropped into the Ruby software to represent better how it will engrave. The removed background makes it easier to apply to the plaque using the overhead camera. Scale the graphic and fit it to the wooden plaque. Select wood from the materials database, then push the file to the laser for processing. The laser will then automatically engrave the graphic into the wooden plaque, producing a permanent, unique custom product. The entire time from taking the photo on a phone camera, saving it to a cloud drive, opening it into Ruby and completing the finished engraving on a 120 watt Speedy 400 laser machine running at 250 dpi was completed in under 3 minutes for this 4x6 wooden plaque. This means that with Ruby it is quick enough to do this process on the fly directly in front of customers should you like. Here's another example of running multiple products. First, take a photo. This example will run on a set of four JDS Leatherette coasters. Scan the QR code to order the coasters in this example. Place the coasters into the laser system and focus the laser onto the coaster's surface. Open the Ruby software. Drag or import the photo into the Ruby prepare screen. Scale the image, zoom, and drag the picture over the first coaster using the overhead camera. Select Ctrl plus C on the keyboard to copy that photo. Then Ctrl plus V to paste and adjust the second graphic. And then repeat this twice more to fill the coaster with the designs. Select the materials parameter from the materials database and push the file through the laser. Push start on the laser and then engrave the four coasters with the custom drawing. This process is fast and easy, producing outstanding results guaranteed to please. From an innocent child's colorful crayon drawing to a family heirloom in a few minutes, preserving it for a lifetime. Beyond just engraving, the Ruby software can also take this to the next level, producing both engravings and traced cutouts. Take this sample black and white marker drawing of this cow. I will first take a photo and save it to a cloud drive. This example will be engraved and cut into a quarter inch or six millimeter solid cherry wood. Scan this QR code to order the material used in this example. Open Ruby. In the Ruby design page, import or drag the photo of the cow. Then select the trace feature at the top of the page. Select the outer contour only checkbox, then trace the graphic. This will produce a perfect outline trace and cut line around the outside of this cow. This example will take this design further and make a base so the cow can stand up. Start by drawing an oval at the bottom of the cow. Then select the oval and the cow outline and then weld them together by choosing the union button at the top of the page. Now draw a rectangle placing it partway down the oval. Select the letter C on the keyboard with the rectangle highlighted. Now select everything with the mouse and click the Difference button at the top of the page. This will trim a flat base into the red outline. 
Select the escape key to turn off the dash line of the rectangle. Then select the rectangle and delete it with the delete key for the finished design. Fit the graphic to the design and then create a job and send it to the prepare screen. In the Ruby prepare screen, the wood has already been placed into the laser and focused. Take the graphic and scale, zoom and drag the cow over the wood using the overhead camera. Now select the cherry wood materials parameter from the materials database and then push it to the laser. Push start on the laser to engrave the photo of the cow with the traced cutout and the base. When finished, wipe with a damp cloth to remove excess residue for the finished result. Now stand the laser engraved and cut cow to showcase an adorable finished product. The final project will take this a step further, starting not from a photo, but from a digital drawing created on an iPad in the Procreate app by my very own 11-year-old artistic kiddo. This example will take this full color image and showcase a trace cut into clear cast acrylic to be displayed on a light base. Scan this QR code for the 6mm acrylic used in this example. Then open Ruby and drag the saved digital design file into the design screen. Because this design will be engraved into acrylic and cast acrylic engraves white, the graphic will then need to be inverted. Select the drawing and then select the invert button. Select Trace at the top of the page and check the Outer Contour Only checkbox and choose Trace to prepare an outline trace around the drawing to be used to cut it out. I will then add a circle to create a base to fit into a light base. Position the oval. Select both red layers and weld it together using the Union button. Next I will draw a rectangle at the bottom of the circle Choose the red layers again and weld them with the union button. Fit the drawing to the design and select create the job. In the prepare screen, the acrylic has already been placed into the laser and focused. Scale the image, zoom and rotate the design over the acrylic using the overhead camera. Select the acrylic materials parameter from the materials database and push it to the laser. Push start on the laser and engrave the drawing into the cast acrylic with the outline contour. When finished, wipe away any dust from the surface for the finished laser engraved and cut artwork onto cast acrylic. From a digital color design to a custom engraved and cut artwork into acrylic example. Now place the acrylic into a light base and turn it on to light it up. Scan this QR code for the light base used in this example. By turning a child's artwork into unique, personalized products, you're not only creating cherished keepsakes, but also preserving precious memories for years to come. The possibilities are endless, and with the right tools such as the Ruby software and the Trotec laser, the process is fast, straightforward, and highly lucrative. We encourage you to explore and discover other creations you can make with Trotec laser technology. Please let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions or comments. And if you'd like to stay up to date with my latest laser projects, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.